Hey, what's up, guys? Stroker here for another review. Um, today's items will be a beverage from Minimate. Um, Aguas Fresca. Um, Agua Frescas with an S. Sorry if I uh, butchered the, uh, the actual name, but here are uh, a few. Well, I have three, actually, so go ahead and let's check it out. Here is the first one, uh, Hibiscus. That's one. And we have Strawberry. Uh, and I have one more. It's a uh, Mango. So, of course, at the store, doing what I normally do at the store, buy stuff, seeing these on the shelf, like, you know what, let me give it a shot, because pretty much anything Minime makes is golden. Um, I know they have the uh, the jugs, um, that's uh, uh, normally how everyone was uh, introduced with uh, Minime. Um, I found it that uh, later on in the years, um, I actually stopped buying those jugs. I think the last time I bought it probably was like some years ago. So for me to buy this drink is something, uh, it's been a while, man, since I had bought a, a Minute Maid product. But uh, basically what I'm saying is the jugs, it's just, it, it, you know, guys, you know me. <sighs> I'll say it again. I'm not a huge sugar guy. So when I was young, fat, um, a little older and not so fat, but uh, <laughs> I bought a jug and I'm like, you know what? It's prime time. Um, you know, me getting the cup, uh, and I'm realizing like, man, this has, this has uh, unnecessarily too much sugar. So what I did, I just watered it down. And I know some people probably like, oh man, stroke, you're crazy. You know, get off the meds. But I had to do it, man. I had to do it for myself. I had to do it for, I had to do it for the culture, man. It's just, for some reason, people think bombarding a, a beverage food with a ton of sugar is automatically going to make it taste wonderful. That's a bold face lot, man. I don't go that route. I like a little sugar in my in my products, but not a lot. Me, preferably if it's a drink, I prefer it to be natural uh, sugar. You know, strawberries, I know. Um, strawberries are sweet. Mangoes are sweet. Um, certain fruits are sweeter than others, but I'm cool with just using the organic, the natural sugar it comes in. This, you know, add your water, your preservatives in it, and uh, we can go about our merry way. So that's pretty much what I did when I bought the uh, the Minute Maid jug. I just watered it down. And, you know, to be honest with you, it lasts me even longer. So um, instead of me getting one glass and I had to force myself to drink it, I actually watered it down. It lasts me like, I don't know how many how many weeks. Uh, again, I didn't go after it every day, but uh, when I did get a glass, knowing that it went down smooth and I had to worry about any, you know, um, you know when you get something that's good but you feel bad after like you eat ice cream you kind of feel like you get you feel good at the moment but later on it's like man i should never had that ice cream but when i watered it down i had no regrets drinking it it was a perfect balance of enough water and fruit juice so uh, pro tip if anyone's thinking about buying uh mini made by the jug or even even a carton it, it, it won't hurt it by adding some some uh, some water with it so uh anything get a picture um, fill it, uh, the juice inside of a pitcher, then add some water to it to your liking. Don't, don't just, don't add whatever, how much that, that jug is, don't add the same amount of water. It actually take a little water at a time and then just add it, taste it as you go, uh, about mixing it. That way you can get your, your perfect balance. My, my balance is going to be different from, from you guys' perfect balance, but, um, need to be said, definitely got to water it down, folks. So, and it actually tastes better. It's just a nice, subtle taste. And it doesn't, you know, just attack my, my cavities, you know, my, my cavities, but it doesn't attack my teeth or anything like that. And I feel better. I actually, it's a refreshing drink. It doesn't weigh me down. It doesn't feel bad or anything like that. Um, but, you know, uh, too much of a good thing is bad. So do your own research about sugar, side effects of sugar, and blah, blah, blah. I'm over here giving you health tips about a drink. And people are like, man, let's get to the beverage, man. Get to the beverage. I'm getting to it. So um, seeing it. At the store, picked up the flavors. I don't know how many they have. I just seen these three. I'm like, well, I'm try all three of them. So they probably have more. I don't know, but um, it's pretty new. I don't know how long it came out, but um, we were going to get into it. So hibiscus. It's a juice beverage, of course, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Sounds good, right? And I know you have some kind of instructions. It's not, it's not going to be something you just pop open and drink. Uh, it has three percent juice. Um, what else it has in there? Pure filter water, high fructose corn syrup, 
Wish I would have read that before I bought it, but it is what it is. Apple juice from concentrated contains less than 2% of natural flavor. Citric acid provides uh, tartness, sodium, um, benzite, and potassium, sorbate, and calcium. Mm, vegetable extract. Uh, and of course, Coke Color produces it. And that's pretty much about it. So it says shake before you drink. Before I do, let me get to the calories. Uh, it's 45 grams per salary, uh, per salary, per calorie, <laughs> uh, per serving. 45 calories per serving. And it's 90 calories in total in each can. So it's 90 calories in each can. Of course, you're gonna, you're gonna drink the whole can, so you're gonna take that 90 calories. Uh, total fat is zero, sodium is uh, 55 milligrams per serving, but total is 105 milligrams. Uh, total carbs is 22 grams. Total sugar, 21 grams. It's not bad. It's, it's better than what's normally on the shelf compared to sodas and, you know, just regular fruit juice. I've seen it, you know, 30, within the low 30s um, um, grams of sugar. So uh, it's 21 grams. So this is good. It's, you know, it's, it's good compared to what's normally out there on the shelf. Um, added sugars, 20 grams. See, that's the part I don't like. I don't like when they, I understand why they're doing it because they want it to taste a certain way. They want, you know, they, but it's not always about just adding sugar, bro, like this. So I, I'm, not, I'm bummed out about that, how they, they added more sugar. And damn, it's double the amount of, of, of uh, you know, this, but anyway, protein, no protein. But it says total sugar is 21 grams. Okay, so. Okay, I see what they did. So the, the total is, is 21 grams. Uh, the added sugar is 20 grams, so it's 40%. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's slightly better than what's out there, what's normally out there on the shelf. So um, you got to be very careful when it says 100% fruit juice, because that sugar is going to be high. So you want to make sure, if you're going to be drinking this on a regular, make sure it has, you know, has some water in there. Because some companies, they'll just smash it with straight, you know, fruits. And shit, really, it's a no water, so... You know, but anyway, you gotta try it out. You gotta test and see if it's to your liking or not. But without further ado, we're gonna go try this Minute Maid uh, Aguas Frescas Hibiscus Juice Beverage. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good shake. Wear Stone Cold Steve Austin when you need him, right? So, anyway. That smell is there. It smells nice. It smells like something you put in, you know, in your, in your living room or something like that air freshener but okay I like that it's it's subtle it's not again overpowering with sugar it's not doing that there's 21 grams of sugar in total it's not I like it it's nice oh yeah um adults well you're out there in the summer heat with the kids, you out in the water park, whatever like that, uh, fishing, grab a case of these. So nice, it's, it's smooth. The hibiscus. Let me let me write this down because you know on this show we do a stroker score of uh, zero out of five. So let me go ahead and write this down. Uh, of course, there'll be a link in the description down below. We can get these online. That way, you don't have to hunt them down. So, uh, all right, the next one will be is the strawberry. So, again, make sure you shake it up, folks, because it has, evidently has fruit at the bottom or whatever. So, Again, you can smell the, the fruit out the can, so. I'm not gonna get a raid until I finish all three of them, so. And look, it has apple, uh, excuse me, it has apple in there also, because at the very bottom, I don't know if you see that apple in the corner. So all of them have that, so 
Let me hit that one more time, kind of lost taste. Mm. All right, folks, last but not least. This is a, the mango, so. Y'all looking at me like that, because it, it does. You know, I don't want to be shaking it up, and it's going to split the splash decks. I ain't trying to smell the mango right out the can. Yeah. Okay. Gotta let it settle in first. Mm. All right, folks. So that's the last one. So again, we did the. I tried the hibiscus. I tried the strawberry, and I also tried the, the mango. So without further ado. I'm gonna start from the least, the high, the lower score to the highest score. So the least score is, is tied, it's two of them. So it's gonna be the mango, and it's gonna be a strawberry. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, mango, strawberry, it should have been the number, it should have been the top pick. Yeah, uh, yeah, I object. The mango, it, 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 it tastes like mango. Um, strawberry tastes like strawberry, but the strawberry doesn't taste like, like, I don't know, like, I mean, I, had, I, I tried strawberry before, like raw strawberries, but I, I usually put them in like in a smoothie. So you can't really be honest. I mean, you can, strawberry has, it's sweet, but it's not, it's not like, uh, it doesn't have a strong taste to it. You know, it's, it's pretty much watery, you know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a little faint taste in strawberry. So I, it, 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 it tastes like, and of course, you know, they put fruit, uh, corn syrup in there and all that stuff. But you can taste it. You can tell that the strawberry, they, they tried to, make the strawberry taste like strawberry if that makes any sense instead of it just being like oh you know strawberries blend up and put water in because i understand strawberry is not i mean if you get just straight up strawberries and you throw in the blender put water in there or whatever it's not going to have a good taste so as crazy as that may sound because again strawberry is not a strong taste it doesn't have a strong taste it's a very light taste that fades away right away now if you're biting it you know raw then yeah you're gonna you're gonna get the strawberry taste but if you Again, if you throw it in a blend and add water to it, it dilutes it and it's just good. So you can taste the strawberry, but you can tell that they the company made the strawberry taste like strawberry. If that makes sense. The mango, I mean it, it does the mango thing. And you know, mango is probably one of the the fruits that has the most sugar ever. So I mean, again, I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, it's not bad. Um, I'm not trying to down, you know, downplay any of these beverages. But the mango strawberry, I I'll tell you what. Let me take that back. Let me be more correct. The strawberry is the least one. And I give that a stroke score zero out of five. I give it a solid three. Because again, you can tell that they tried to make the strawberry taste like strawberries. They didn't just go off the natural flavor of strawberry because of that reason alone. It's not a, uh, it doesn't have a strong taste to it. Very faint. And I, I get it. But you can tell it doesn't taste like you know, regular strawberries it tastes like they just put some, you know, stuff in there and made it taste like strawberries. I don't know. My personal opinion, I give it a solid three. The mango, I give it a solid four. The spite that is so sweet, but again, that's not the mango's focus. Mango is super sweet. Mango is good. Strawberry is my least favorite. Wouldn't buy it again. And of course, well, the the, uh, the score for the mango, short score zero out of five, I give it a solid four. The mango does the thing. The mango is gonna mango. So that's solid four for the uh, the uh, the mango, and a solid three for the strawberry. So again, my taste was different from yours, but I just don't like it when it doesn't taste like it should. So strawberry, strawberry, true enough. But again, they did some stuff to make it taste like strawberry. So, and of course, the leading number one, the champion of all three of the beverages out out of all three of the beverages. Is the hibiscus. The hibiscus, I give that a sugar score, zero out of five. It earned a solid five. But I shout out a doubt. Definitely not regretting that whatsoever. But with that being said, all three beverages are great. Um, you have your options, so that's also a good thing. But again, 
for you parents out there, out there in the summer heat, you know, playing with your kids, got them in a the water park, got them at the park, whatever. Take these. Get you a case of these. Uh, I'm thinking they sell uh, a variety, a variety pack. Hopefully they do. Um, but if not, definitely uh, pick some of these up, and you're gonna actually enjoy it. It's not. Again, it doesn't have a crab load of sugar. It's a nice balance, and uh, you'll feel good uh, after you finish drinking it. While you're drinking it, and after you're you're done drinking it, so you want that. You don't want these sports drinks. Of course, you want to include water in your in your, uh, your coolers. So make sure you keep water for sure, because you don't want to live off these 100. percent You know, it's, it's a it's a beverage. It's something that you don't need. It's something that you want. Unlike water. Which a lot of people don't want water, but we need water. So keep that in mind. But of course, this would definitely substitute for any energy drink. For sure. Because you know, energy drinks have a ton of sugar in it. You know, even normal food drinks, you got to be very careful with that because there's a ton of sugar in it. You know, you're out there in that heat and you're taking in these, these, um, these, this, this high dose of sugar. You're going to have a little, some, you're going to have some, some health problems. That's for sure. So you want to avoid that by having a nice, um, watered down drink that's also very satisfying to your taste buds and it's you know it's pretty good All right, again it's not the best drink ever i'm pretty sure i got some people on here oh i'm vegan and i'm you know all the other stuff but it's definitely something i would put in my cooler for sure definitely something you would go on vacation with definitely something you would go to the beach with and you can actually enjoy these drinks for sure but again my favorite drink out of the three it's probably more i don't know it's gonna be the hibiscus and it's crazy that i say that because i look actually i looked up the uh the products online i just checked out the reviews the hibiscus got the most slag bro like i'm like is it that bad so i had to try that first but the biscuits i don't know what it is man they probably just they probably not enough sugar for them or whatever like that but i'm giving this out five i'll definitely buy that over again over the other two is again it's just it's not my liking and I, like I said, I mean, you, you're not going to like everything. I'm not going to like everything. That's the whole point of me doing these videos, my honest review. But for sure, the biscuits is a solid five, man. No lie. Yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to have the link in the description down below of all three of these beverages. And uh, you pretty much just pick what your liking is. At the end of the day, you're not going to lose anything by trying it. So um, this video has come to an end. Please follow me on Instagram at Strokers Podcast. Also follow me on, on uh, Spotify. You got a... Uh, you got Apple Play, and you got Anchor. Follow me on Shokers Podcast also. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you please subscribe, like, comment, share. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Until next time, guys. Take it easy. Broken. I'm out.